So how concerned should we be about AI and deep fakes? Bring in somebody who knows maybe more about this topic than anybody that is serial entrepreneur and futurist. Peter Diamandis, he is the founder of the XPRIZE competition, for the Singularity Group, and generous and kind enough on a Friday night live to join us on set in New Jersey. Peter, thank you. Thanks, Brian. Great to be here. How you, you, in your recent blog post, you said seeing is no longer believing and that AI is the most important technology humanity has ever created. Now, we could probably fight about that for a while, but why, why do you say that? Uh, it's a technology that is going to impact us in ways we can't even understand, both good and bad, right? So every year I pull together 500 CEOs, investors, and we talk about the future. We call it Abundance 360. And this year, our theme is called the great AI debate, which is, are you a boomer or a doomer? Are, do you want it to go as fast as possible, or do you want to slow it and stop it down? Now, the reality is, when we talk about deep fakes, we're talking about the malevolent uses of that, right? We talk about the positive uses, we call them avatars. Mm -hmm. And they're amazing things, right? They're gonna be avatars. I have an avatar, do you have one? We did one on the show a number of months ago. It's probably our most watched segment, and, you know, and it was, it was pretty doggone good. And so these avatars are going to give us the ability to connect with thousands of individuals, customer service, marketing, sales, bring your loved ones back to life, and so forth. Are there problems? Yes. Here's the thing. We haven't seen anything yet. This is just the beginning, the knee of the curve. right? So a couple years ago, in the old days, it would take you 30 seconds to generate a deep fake image. Now we can generate 100 images in a second. Right, which is video or high def video. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna start to see deep fake videos like this, but we're also gonna start to see uh, the reinvention of Hollywood, the reinvention yeah. of make the film that you want in the moment. I, I don't worry as much about AI as much as I worry about AI creating AI because right now it's humans that are programming and sort of ordering the machine to do something. Somebody ordered that Biden robocall. Somebody did the Taylor Swift thing. It's when the computers start thinking for themselves yeah. that I'm a little bit concerned. So we can, we can split AI into three segments. Today, I would say it's pretty damn good. It's useful. It's helping a lot of people. It's not taking too many jobs. There's the next one to five years, which is the part that I'm concerned about. It's not artificial intelligence. It's human stupidity I'm worried about mostly, mm -hmm. right? It's humans using AI for malevolent purposes. And then there's the post, what we call artificial general intelligence, five years and out, right? How is it? There are a lot of amazing, valuable, positive elements of AI. It's gonna enable us to Will have- Will it wipe out the job market? Our G GDP in America has grown every year for 25 years, and yet the yeah. demand and need for workers yeah. just isn't there. So uh, I don't know the answer to that. I think it's gonna reinvent the job market. It's gonna reinvent how we do things. Uh, a friend of mine uh, has said, listen, when robo-taxis take over, maybe the taxi driver should be an owner in those robo-taxis, right? In other words, we're going to have to reinvent the economy, but we're also going to demonetize the economy. You know, if, if you don't need, if you have, if every single person has the most amazing AI educator, right, an AI that knows your children, knows their language skills, knows what they can and cannot do, mm. it takes the, the cost of education to zero and ups the level of education. The same thing for medicine. Uh, it's going to transform all of medicine. Which could be good. You, and by the way, you mentioned kids, and I'm glad you mentioned kids, because right now we're talking about Taylor Swift pictures and a Biden robocall and, and this kind of stuff. You have talked about incidences of, and you got a blog out there, but you can go read it. By the way, I'll post it when the show's over, that parents are getting robocalls from their children, or what they think is their children, yeah. saying, I'm in jail, I need money. There's a way to protect that's very non-techy, right? For sure. So you can clone a person's voice from a few seconds, right? And get a phone call from your grandson or granddaughter and think it's them, and I'm in jail, can you send some money? And that can happen. It's happening. I've had two friends that's happened to in their families. Really? Here's what you need. The, the pro tip here is a code word that you at your family, at your dinner table, you agree on, should that ever happen, you know, use that code word to protect yourself. You know, there are four things we have to think about for deep fakes right now. Regulation, we have to make it illegal. There has to be strict, you know, penalties against that. Yeah. The second thing You think is, whoever made that Biden robocall should go to jail? Probably. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's they counterfeiting. told people not to vote. It, well, yeah, it's counterfeiting, right? The challenge is that regulations move very slowly, and we need... We need the counter forces here to move at the speed of AI. And it's really 
white height, black height. It's entrepreneurs using AI to fight this. The third thing is we're going to need to see sort of technology innovation. Like when, when high resolution color copiers came out, you could actually counterfeit money. Print money. Right, you could print money. And then a consortium of 30 banks got together with the copier companies like Xerox, and they came up with protocols that make it impossible for you to copy money on a copying machine. The final thing which might come is interesting, which is a cultural change. Are we going to, today we default to believing. Are we going to default to actually disbelieving what we see? So every time we see something that's edgy, uh, that's a deep fake. Oh, that's a deep fake. It's going to be an interesting cultural shift if they become that dominant. That could actually enough. be a good, I could see that being that a could good be, thing. It could be a good thing.